are big changes in the world of CPR. The American Heart Association used to tell us to think of the ABCs, airway, breathing, compressions, not anymore. Now, think cab for compressions, airway, breathing. The emphasis is on those chest compressions, and this could save a lot of lives. So take a minute, stop what you're doing, and watch this. Tonight, the bottom line on the one thing you can do to help save a life. Take a good look. And notice how fast and deep these chest compressions are being done. Chest compressions. There are new guidelines when it comes to CPR. If someone's heart stops, get straight to strong chest compressions. A little bit deeper, a little bit faster. Holly Heron helps train EMS crews. She says go for 100 compressions a minute, two inches deep, right away. Those first minutes are the valuable minutes that are going to uh, save somebody's life, save, preserve their brain. When you say minutes, how many are we talking? About four minutes and your brain starts to die. Watching for chest rise. Andrew Boffman is a volunteer with the Heath Fire Department and knows how critical those first few minutes are. There's been a couple times where we've walked in and nothing's been done and you know we're kind of behind the eight ball. Bottom line, know this. You want to shake and shout and turn responsiveness. You get no response. You start compression, center chest, one, two, three, and four. And this is how fast, hard, and deep you should be doing compressions. Four, six, four, six, four, six, six. Do 30 compressions, then two breaths, and doing something is better than nothing. Broken ribs are, are better than not doing anything. You are uh, saving a life. And for a complete tutorial on the right way to do CPR, we will give you a step-by-step -step lesson. Just go to our website, nbc4i.com. Search CPR guidelines. Got you covered there.